Okay, uh, these, are, these are members of uh, Swilbria Investors, which is a youth group in Wiga Village, Homabay County. So Fadeka helped the group in establishing the poultry house. Kindly you can see behind you there is a poultry house. This poultry house, as you can see, was actually constructed using the locally available materials. You can see the wall, it's muddy. And also, the only thing that was bought from the from the hardware, in fact, is the iron sheet. So this was done actually to look on the side of the cost, so that at least now we could reduce the cost of establishing the business for the young youth. You can see the youngest lady here. She's uh, she's how old are you? How old are you? She's 13 years old. What's your name? Sada. Sada who? Shahada who? Shahada Abdurrahman. And the next one, she has just done a standard eight. What's your name? Sharifa Nyango. Sharifa Nyango. How old are you? 16. She's 16 years old. And other members are not here. There are 12 members. Today, they are the people who have been actually assigned the duty to clean the feeders, the waterers. Ah, as you can see, also they managed to bring the water from the main source, which is not that far from the project site. Actually, they have worked so hard, so they're trying to fill the water so that at least the chicken can get the water. So, we are working towards the poultry house. We are going to hunt and see what's happening inside to see what the young people have managed to do. Actually, you can see for yourself, it's wonderful. Young boy, you also want, you can also learn because we also include the children uh, in mentoring them in trying to understand what disaster risk reduction means and how they can contribute to their families. So you can see the young boy here. Ninginga. Ninginga. That is good. Sai Bonyango is also here. He's one of the children that we are trying to mentor. Oh, you can see for yourself. So wonderful. They have like uh, 200 chicken. Even though they are disadvantaged on the issues with health and all that. So they didn't know how to do this. So Safadeka so came up. There was what she called typh uh, typhoid. There is a disease called typhoid diarrhea for the poultry that actually uh, claimed many lives of their poultry. Uh, approximately 30. How many died? 29. How many died? 29. 29, huh? So Fadeka brought the vaccines and uh, helped secure the, the remaining one you can see. And in fact the group is very happy because they can continue now benefiting from their hard work. Uh, this is an establishment that uh, so Fadeka contributed 50,000 shillings to the youth after training them. Oh, you can see Shahada is now trying to give water to the chicken this is wonderful close the door close the door dead that i'm telling him to close the door so that at least now they don't escape outside it's not safe for them close the door load that oh this is wonderful wonderful you can see the chicken are now taking water they're taking water <laughs> For yourself. These are for feeds. These are what you call feeders for placing the local feeds and also the processed one. This is a mixture of some rice which has not been processed. They like it, gives some nutrients to them. So, as you can see, we these are layers, not broilers. So, the group will start selling the eggs. Then they can also incubate some to continue producing 
more chicks which they can also sell to the entire village because in the village there is nothing like a, like a, uh, an incubator around so the group is actually targeting that one to ensure that they can take <coughs> to some extent take the monopoly of producing the chicks so that they can start selling to the community who actually also come here and get training uh, so far they can normally send two to three mentors to come and mentor the youth who are also in the same range of the age group so that the youth can blend well with them, ask questions, give them their problems, tell them what the challenges they have so that our trained youth in Sofadeka, in fact we also have a member Rob Sofadeka who actually underwent the three months training in Migori <coughs> in the year 2010 is actually helping the youth and he is the representative of Sofadeka on the ground. So you can see Sofadeka is really working with community to ensure that youth become agents of change. Youth become agents <coughs> of conflict mitigation, conflict resolution because they are taught all that.